I forgot to turn my mic on. I'm so silly. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. I'm doing things out of order. It's Monday, by the way. Hi, everybody. Um, welcome to tonight's stream. We're playing Luigi... Luigi's Mansion. I, like, completely fucked up this intro. Can we re... Can we restart? Oh, wow, the stream just started. Hi, everyone. Uh, Luigi. Sorry. I'm not actually doing the whole intro again. Hi, Bomber. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Okay, we're gonna do Luigi's Mansion 2 HD tonight. Definitely gonna try to get another mansion out of the way. Maybe we could even do two. I don't know. It's kind of late already. I started a little later than I intended to, uh, because... Um, I've been working hard on morgue game stuff. Uh, my friend Eve sent me, like, the files for making cards. Uh, the problem is that they had to send me, like, a version that would work with Inkscape. Uh, cause I don't have Adobe Illustrator, and I gotta be honest, I tried so fucking hard to pirate that thing, I could not figure it out. Not that I would ever pirate an Adobe product, that was a parody. Uh, that was a joke. Haha. -ha. And you laughed at it. Because it's obviously so ridiculous. Um. But I'm, like, trying to figure out how this damn thing's gonna work. I'm trying to- I'm trying to figure out the layout. Make it look nice. Um, it's getting there, though. It's getting there. I had, like, a, a prototype of what a card looks like. It is not at all complete. Um. This is not at all complete. It's missing the- the background. It's missing opacity on the text boxes. I think I'm probably gonna change the font, but uh, this is a basic idea of what cards are gonna look like. Is he you ready? Um, pretty, pretty close to like a, pretty much like, you know, it's a God game card, but I made some adjustments at the bottom. I There's a text box for quote, there's a text box for what game slash stream something is from. There's the credits for the person who worked on the card. And not every card is just going to be my name. There's going to be some cards that might not even have my name at all. Um, but yeah, that's my shit. That's my shit. I might actually have to take a break from more game stuff, because I think I'm working myself to death a little bit trying to figure this out. Let's go to the Haunted Towers. Job for a plumber. The tower's machinery is inactive. I'm guessing the ghosts broke it already. We need to get the hyro gen uh, uh, hyro. hydro generator running before we can search for the next dark moon piece. I'm on your favorite mansion. Let's go. Our quest is taking us to a new location, Luigi. Aren't you excited? No? Oh, come on. Where's your sense of adventure, son? Our work is far from dumb. Dude, this is really embarrassing. I fucked up my intro completely. I can't, like, read lines of dialogue. I was, like, stumbling through talking about the card layout. And it's not even like I am, like, tired or anything. You know what I did at work? I just cut, like, meat ends for, like, five hours. It was the easiest thing in the universe. I just had knife in hand, kept chopping up meat, and that was it. I did that for five hours, which is a million times easier than having to go around, take customers, help in the front you know, cut stuff or pre-cut stuff. I just, I just sat in the back. I did not, I did that. I can't say I did nothing. It was something, but it wasn't much. There's only one way to fix this mess. Restore the dark moon and place it back up in the sky. 
My periscope has located the next piece somewhere in these haunted towers. They've been abandoned for some time now, so they're teeming with exotic plants, and naturally ghosts. The towers are in bad shape, and the water system seems to be broken. If only we had a plumber around here. Yeah, no, it was kind of a blessed day. And it was fucked up, too, because, like... Literally, like, I was about to have, like, a normal day at work, and then my- the manager calls me over and is like, Hey, Morgan, can I talk to you in the back? And I, like, fucking froze. Because when you're getting talked to by the manager, that is the last thing you want to hear. That's like, oh my god, what the fuck did I do? I must have fucked something up. And then I went in the back, and she was like, Hey, yeah, are you just able to cut up these meat ends? We have a shit ton of them, and we need to, like, put them out. And I was like, oh. Okay. But I was like, I was so nervous. The way, the way she phrased it really did make me think I was in trouble. Like, why did she even need to take me to the back for that? She didn't have to. She could have said that in front of my other co-workers. She wasn't telling me anything bad or anything they shouldn't hear. It's fucked up. The manager- the, the deli manager is a nice lady, though. She just chose very interesting wording for that. Oh, keep out a, keep an eye out for new types of ghosts. That goes without saying. Good luck, young feller. But yeah, most of my day has just been working on morgue game stuff, getting VODs uploaded. And then work. And that's it. That's all I've done since the last stream. Which definitely makes me think, like, I don't know, I need to take a little bit of a break from more game development. Especially because I gotta get ready for my upcoming Draft League match. I need to actually put together a team. I could have done that tonight, honestly. Considering I was starting late anyways, I was contemplating it, but then I was like... And this is the funniest reason possible to not do that. I was like, oh shit, wait. Nintendo Switch Sports Basketball drops tomorrow, though. What am I gonna do if I can't stream Nintendo Switch Sports Basketball? I need to be, like, the only motherfucker on Twitch, like, streaming that shit. I literally do. I have a desire to ball. But yeah, tomorrow's probably gonna be, like, a variety hour with Nintendo Switch Sports and, uh, something else. The only other time I streamed Nintendo Switch Sports was when I first got COVID. I remember that very distinctly because I had to have Nintendo Switch Sports delivered by my door. Like, my, my room door, rather from one of my family members. What am I doing here? to do something with this, I assume. I 
I don't think it likes that. Dude, the frog? The fuck does the frog do? Funny frog. The happy silly. Oh. Wait, that seems really obvious now. Oh well. How are you guys doing? I hope you're all doing well. I don't know if we have anything particularly exciting going on in the world. <laughs> you know, we're only in, like, the an election season, but I'm not gonna spend, like, 50% of my stream talking about the election. That's crazy. Though I will say, me and my coworker were talking about it today, and we were like... If Mr. Beast actually ran for president in, like, 12 years... The fucked up thing is that he probably has, like, a really good chance. Having a relaxing evening and a slice of yummy pie? Fuck yes. I had Popeyes for dinner. It was pretty damn good. Although, I don't know... D d d I, I did have the Popeye's biscuits. It kind of didn't hit this time. I don't know. Popeye's biscuits are kind of hit or miss for me. Sometimes they hit, and they hit hard, but this time I just ate it, and I was like, this kind of nothing. I don't know. Popeye's biscuit with no drink. I did- I did have a drink, to be fair. I did have a drink. Oh, what's up, Egad? It just didn't hit. I don't know. For some reason, I was- I, I ate a couple, and then I was like, I don't need to have a third. This ain't that good. Hmm, just as I feared. The hydro generator seems to be in good condition, so the water pump must be clogged. Why don't you check the water supply on the roof? Honestly, maybe I kind of just fucked up with the air fryer a little bit. Because honestly, like... I mean, the chicken was still damn good. You can't really fuck up Popeye's chicken. But it was a little more dry than usual, which makes me think that I put it on for too long. And that's my fucking story. That's about as interesting as it gets. Maybe one day you'll know what it's like to own an air fryer. Air fryers kick ass. I'm a big air fryer believer. It does like every- like our air fryer 
does everything that, like, a microwave oven does, but even more. Like, there's not n that much food that I really use the microwave for anymore. I usually, like, go for the air fryer. It's a life-changing, like, appliance. I don't know, it was like the meme for a bit, you know, clearly you don't own an air fryer. I never, I never had to worry about Robert Downey Jr. being smug at me, because I had a, the air fryer like pretty early. I got in early, and you know what? It was the right choice. I mean, granted, I say it like it was my decision. It was my parents. Truth to the meme, which is why it's so effective. It's true. It is very true. Although nowadays I think, like, the intent of the meme is kind of lost because, like, everybody who wanted to own an air fryer owns it, and everybody who doesn't own an air fryer knows the power of the air fryer and can't afford it. It's not in their wheelhouse yet. You know, a lot of the memes stemmed from the non-believers. It was people who were like, an air fryer, that can't be that good. No, it actually is that good. Dude, french fries in, like, the air fryer goes crazy. You can never, like, I don't know, like, microwave fries is already not a great idea. You know? That's, like, pretty much guaranteed to suck. And, like, putting fries in the oven is, like, that's hit or miss. Putting fries in the air fryer, though? Listen, it's not the same as the regular fry, but it's still damn good. It's the closest you can get. Dude, what is this piss puddle over here? Oh, hi, you Gav. Youngster, did you hear me? The machinery in the haunted towers is powered by water. Now go to the roof and make sure the water pump is working. Oh, sorry. Oh. I did that by accident. Oh, what the fuck am I supposed to do in here? I can't go forward without the water higher. Killed that beast. That's definitely a door up there. Though it looks like there might be an entrance around here. Wait. Oh, let's go. I forgot I have this light now. I gotta remember that shit. Light to reveal 1,000 secrets.
Dude, he's got the shovel. Don't matter, you're still a green ghost in the end. Dude, you know what I do miss? I miss the fucking ghost slam you have in, like, Luigi's Mansion 3. That move went crazy. It's a little more basic on that front. Plant nursery. Whoa, what the fuck? What the hell am I supposed to do here? Uh. <laughs> if it sucks, hit the bricks. Oh, cool. That's really awesome. Thank you, game. I got hit by, like, a third grade prank. Fucking Calvin and Hobbes ass prank. The mom is, like, pissed about it, and the dad is, like, saying... He's just expressing his creativity in, like, a roundabout way. Really is the oldest in the book. I can't believe they pull some shit like that. Dude, the low poly birds. This is awesome. Ow. Oh my god. Can't even suck them up. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck do I do here, then? Son of a bitch. Fuck! Stop it. I don't understand. Am I missing something? Oh, maybe I am. Maybe I am. You know what? Let's leave. Oh, I can't go in that door. What the fuck was... Luigi was clipping through the bars on the door? This is the power of 3DS graphics.
It's easy to talk about how the Switch is, like, super underpowered hardware by today's standards. And, I mean, it is. Even in 2017, it was, like, kind of outdated. But in 2024, it's extremely outdated hardware. But then I remember in 2011, like, the 3DS had a screen that was, like, 240p. And I think that's fucking crazy. They had, like, HD on YouTube at that point. But if you wanted to watch YouTube on your 3DS, you had to watch 240p no matter what. It is very crazy to think about. I mean, Nintendo has always done more with less. I've always believed, like, honestly, more than anything, I think Nintendo is a great handheld manufacturer, and they also happen to make consoles. Because, like, I don't know, you, you think back to, like, Nintendo's history, and it's, like, pretty much all of their most successful hardware is handhelds. The Game Boy was way more popular than the NES or SNES. The GBA was definitely more po popular than the N64 or GameCube. DS was more popular than the Wii. 3DS more popular than the Wii U. Although that's like saying my grandpa is more popular at the nursing home than the guy who has to feed everyone their pills. Like, yeah, that's because grandpa is playing pool with everybody else, while the other guy is shoving pills down your throat and not doing it very well. Oh, I see what the issue is. There is a treasure chest there. Oh. I'm following what you're put on putting on the table game. I don't know, I feel like anybody who, like, thinks of Nintendo as, like, a console manufacturer first, and, like, a handheld manufacturer second, those are the people that tend to be most disappointed. Oh, wait, I can do this. I do it. Like, honestly, it's kind of crazy that from the 3DS to the Switch, they went from fucking 240p to 1080p at all. Is the Switch 2 gonna be 4K? That is, like, the big question, I think. I wouldn't care either way. I couldn't li give less of a shit if it is or not. But I'm curious if they're going to make that leap. I feel like some people are going to be expecting it, but I don't know. New Switch revision with RTX and native 4K! It's, like, so funny that that was, like, the pervasive rumor was like, oh my god, dude, it's gonna have this, it's gonna have that, the Switch Pro is gonna be so powerful. And it's like, I don't even think the Switch 2 is gonna be that powerful. I don't know, at least in handheld mode, I can't imagine Nintendo capping their stuff at 4K. That would be crazy to me. Maybe in docked mode? I could see it, not in handheld mode, though. It was a really cool camera. Ow. 
bitch. I don't know, it is kind of funny that, like, Switch Pro rumors never became anything real. I was, like, a Switch Pro non-believer from the start. I don't know, I might have even been too much of a regular Switch believer. Because whenever we get, like, bad ports to the system, I'd be like, oh, well, they, they could have done it. Probably. And then it's like, I don't know, we're at a point now where sometimes if a game comes to Switch and the port is bad, I'm like, oh yeah, what did you expect? It's on the Switch. I don't know, like, the Doom 2016 port set, like, very high expectations that I feel like most Switch ports never met. The fact that Doom 2016 is on Switch at all is very funny to you. I'm glad it was. That was how I first played the game, and it was honestly great. I mean, it had, like, gyro and shit, so it felt, like, right at home. I love me some good gyro. And then Doom Eternal is also a game I played on the Switch for the first time. And, like, that port job is also, like, pretty good. It's, like, fucked up. I don't know, the fact that Doom Eternal run, like, decently was, like, anything could run on the Switch at that point. Which is definitely strictly not true. But that's what it felt like. Doom Eternal is also something I plan to stream soon. That's been in the plans for a while. I want to get to that before Doom The Dark Ages comes out next year. That could be what I do after I finish this game. I, I think that was my plan. We'll just pretend like Doom Eternal doesn't have a story, so we have a good time. <laughs> Dude, I kind of hope that Dark Ages... Like, it might just have a skip cutscene button to begin with. And I didn't do it on my first playthrough, because I was like, how bad could the story would be? I sincerely hope that Dark Ages, like, just lets you skip cutscenes and, like, dialogue. Because holy shit, dude. It's fucking dire. In Eternal. I think Eternal has, like, straight up some of the worst writing I've experienced in a game. And it's only saved by the fact that the writing is, like, kind of far and few. I didn't use that phrase right, but whatever. And I mean, I'm not even the kind of, like, I'm the kind of person that believes, like, Doom doesn't even really need a story. I don't know. You don't have to make a story for Doom. It's just a game where you shoot demons from hell and have fun with it. Wait, what?
What's up, Egad? Hey, youngster, what's the matter? Having a hard time turning the water pump on? You'll need to give it a big blast with the strobe bulb to start it. Press and hold A for a longer time to charge up the strobe bulb. Ah. Well, that works. What the fuck? My headphones? Ooh. They're swimming! That's awesome! Wait, why did they- They're having so much fun in the water, why'd they even turn it off? <laughs> they're literally so playful. Fantastic job, youngster. The water flow is slowly normalizing. Hold on, I'll pixelate you out of there in a minute. They just want to experience joy and whimsy. Literally. The ghost designs in this game are, like, generic, but they're kind of cute, though. I don't know, they're like little gumblies to me. If I had a nickel for every Super Mario fat joke I've experienced in the past two days, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it's happened twice. Ho-ho, oh, good job dealing with that rather rotund ghost. I'm bringing you back. Hold on to your hat. Luigi's whistling is so charming here. I said it last time I streamed this game. I just, like, adore how Luigi is characterized in this game. This is, like, the cutest Luigi has ever been. Great job, Luigi. Let's see that new ghost. Like, genuinely, if you're, like, a big Luigi fan like I am, I kind of think this game is, like, quintessential. Like, is it the most exciting game he's ever been in? No, but he's so cute in it. You have to see all the Luigi cute moments. Well, I'll be. I've never seen that kind of ghost before. And good job restoring the water flow. If this whole ghost hunting thing doesn't work out, you may have a future as a plumber. You'll be happy to know that the Haunted Tower's water system is now com almost completely functional. I also have news regarding the Dark Moon piece, but why don't you take a break? You're looking a little soggy. Luigi, want to hear the news about the Dark Moon piece? Well, the Periscope was having a heck of a time trying to pinpoint its location. But then it hit me. I can analyze the Dark Moon pieces we already have to improve the precision. Naturally, I was right, and after a little tinkering, the periscope produced better results. Remember that gigantic tree? The Dark Moon piece seems to be somewhere up there. So, we know roughly where it is, but the hard part is getting there. <laughs> 
No need to cross the newly raised bridge and explore the interior of the hollow tree to find a way up. Got all that? Off you go. It's kind of crazy that they have, like, a pixelate ability in this game that, like, teleports Luigi, and they didn't use it to, like, just do, like, 8-bit Luigi again. That would have been, like, the easiest thing in the universe to do, and they didn't go for it. I kind of respect it. We know this puzzle already. The Slim Goober. Did I tell you guys about my embarrassing GameStop moment yesterday? I, like, went in to, like, pre-order a bunch of shit. And, like... I was talking about it with the employees, and I was like, oh, I want this, I want, like, Donkey Kong, I want, like, Mario and Luigi, and then they were like, what about Zelda? And I was like, oh my god, I forgot that Zelda was coming out. And they were like, you're wearing a Majora's Mask shirt. And, like, I just, like, I got beat red. I don't know. I got called out. I think it's the first time I've ever been called out as a fake fan. Criminy, not again. That pinwheel gate won't open without its veins. Did you see where those skinny, skinny ghosts went? Never mind, I'll use the periscope to find them. Hey, hold on a sec. Got him. Check your map. Honestly, I definitely am a little bit of a fake Zelda fan, because I've really only beaten Breath of the Wild and Ocarina of Time. Well, no, I also beat Link's Awakening. I'm getting there. I'm becoming less of a fake fan. I haven't actually beaten Majora's Mask, though. That one, I'm definitely a fake fan of. It is a game that I very much respect, but I have never played. It's on the docket, though. That's something I want to do this year. I need to do... I, I need to finish TTYD. I think the plan after TTYD is to either do Super Paper Mario or Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. Maybe I do Superstar Saga just to break up which Mario RPG series I'm doing. Originally, Kingdom Hearts was supposed to break up Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door, and Super Paper Mario, but uh, then I didn't want to play Kingdom Hearts, so that didn't happen. I don't know, with Kingdom Hearts, it was 100% just a case of, I thought about streaming more, like, Disney stuff, and I got, like, disgusted at the idea. I fucking hate Disney so much. Kingdom Hearts seems neat, but really daunting to get into. Somehow the only game you've played is 358 Days. I've heard that one's, like, kind of dope, though. I, I, from what I know, a lot of people consider that one of the better stories in the series. Now, as an actual video game, I'm not sure the quality of it. But, 
At the very least, I know that's considered one of the better written games in the series. Brother, how do I get over here? Dude, the lawnmower? Holy shit. Mario fans when they see a lawnmower. Oh my, Plants vs. Zombies. Fuck off! I'm gonna die! Dude, I should do a stream of Plants vs. Zombies. I own the Steam port of it. Plants vs. Zombies is kinda dope. Dude, there's like people on YouTube who have made their careers out of like playing all of Plants vs. Zombies 2. Which seems like an impossibly long video game. I had a co-worker tell me that like Plants vs. Zombies uh, like, Garden Warfare was actually pretty good. And I was like, I wasn't sure if I should believe him, but honestly, original Plants vs. Zombies is dope enough where I'm like, you know what? Maybe, maybe PopCap is cooking. Didn't realize this came out. Hi, Cathador, welcome. Yeah, this came out, like, a week and a half ago. It just kind of dropped. I've been getting a lot of YouTube ads for this game, and it is like, man, it really is like, it feels like a 3DS era game. Not a bad one, to be clear, but like, maybe more than any video game that has come out on the Switch, I'm like, playing it, and I'm like, this is a 3DS game. Nintendo does not make games like this right now. I don't know, like, Luigi's Mansion 3 feels, like, very different from this game. And I don't even mean in terms of, like, oh, this one's mission structured, so it feels different. I don't know. Certainly games you can make careers about with a thousand episodes. It's very true. I mean, everybody knows the famous example of Northern Lion doing, like, thousands of episodes of Isaac. That's, like, a pretty good one you could dedicate yourself to. I mean, all the Pokemon YouTubers... I don't know if those count, though, because technically they are all playing different games. It's just they're playing different games in the same series. TF2 YouTubers, though? The ones that are, like, still going and don't make videos about other shit? Oh my god. Those are like OGs. Not- I wouldn't imagine many of them have like a thousand episodes of that though. I mean hell, I don't even think like Stir or Jerma came close to like a thousand TF2 videos. Even though that's what at the time they were most famous for. Stir in a way is still probably most famous for that. Not Jerma though. Uh, Jerma is most famous for having the world's most annoying chat. <laughs> He's a funny guy, though. I like Jerma. It's just a shame the dude had to be burdened with the fact that he attracted a million people that are much less funnier than he is.
Like, I don't know, man. It's kind of funny. Like, when I think of, like, iconic, like, Germa moments, I think of, like, shit, like, the fucking, like, hornet situation he had where there was, like, a hornet's nest in his house. And every time he was streaming, he had to, like, worry about them. That's what I think of when I think of Jerma. I think of, like, those kind of, like, streams where he's just kind of bullshitting around. But, yeah, he became known for, like, these huge event streams. And, like, I liked some of them. I never... I, there's a few I haven't watched. I never watched Jerma Dollhouse, surprisingly, even though that's probably the most famous stream he did. I just, I don't know. I didn't feel the urge. I did see the baseball stream, though. I thought the baseball stream was pretty killer. I really like that Jerma was able to trick a bunch of gay people into watching sports. Because, I don't know, sports can be, like, kind of homoerotic. But most people just disregard it. And, you know, it doesn't help that a lot of, like, sports fans are the kind of people who are, like, super fucking homophobic. I don't know. It definitely is a little sad for me that Jerma has, like, effectively retired. Because what I wouldn't give for some of those, like, smaller streams where he's just, like, hanging out and chilling. Like, those were immaculate vibes, man. There's very few people as good as Jerma on a webcam. And, like, I noticed a lot of people moved to Northern Lion. I had been watching Northern Lion for a bit before Jerma retired. Northern Lion has a very distinct feel from Jerma. Jerma is, like, a guy who gets clowned on by chat. Northern Lion is a guy who clowns on chat. Like, Northern Lion is more than willing to drag people through the dirt. And honestly, as I've gotten older, I respect it more and more. Because it really is like, man, you shouldn't, like, have to, like, put up with random people on the internet's nonsense. I mean, I'm too nice to act like Northern Lion, I think, but I respect him. It makes sense for him to retire after doing higher production quality yearly. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a little sad. It's a little sad for me. I know I can always go back and watch, like, old VODs of him, but it's not the same, really. You know, being able to catch streams live is a very different vibe. I mean, for the longest time, like, me and Jen's, like, New Year's celebration together was, like, watching Jerma's New Year's stream. And we did that for, like, four or five years. And that was nice. It was a nice thing to share with them. I don't know, in a weird way, I almost feel like... Yeah, <laughs> he, he kind of did quit at the perfect time. I wouldn't have wanted Jerma to be like a Mr. Beast type figure. I don't, I don't need Jerma to continually raise the stakes. In fact, honestly, I stopped watching him. I didn't, I didn't full stop, stop watching him, but I watched him significantly less 
when he started doing these, like, higher production streams. Because it was like, I don't know, it's not, it, it's not my vibe, necessarily. I'm definitely, like, I like a more chill stream. Which is kind of ironic, because I do like putting on higher production stuff on my stream. But I don't actually like watching a lot of high-budget streams. Like, you're never gonna catch me watching the streamer awards. Alright? Though I am, you know what, I am very happy that Unboxo Man got his award for best streamer. Even though he streamed approximately zero times. He deserved it. He put a lot of hard work into not using Twitch.tv. I don't know, I have been hit by a bit of a nostalgia blast recently because, like, Stir inexplicably started uploading, like, TF2 stream highlights, and it's been making me really happy. Because it, like, very much has the same vibe as, like, his old TF2 gameplay videos. It's like, the, it's like he never left. Stairs are moving. Could barely fucking see the things. I don't know, does it make sense for me to be, like, a streamer who likes putting on, like, big productions or being a part of big productions, but then doesn't actually like watching them? Does that pass the smell test, or am I going to hell? If I'm going to hell, I mean, at least I... At least I went going doing what I love. I don't know, I guess in general, what I kind of value from, like, online stuff a little bit is kind of that, like, amateurish vibe. I don't like things getting, like, too high budget. Or, like, feeling professional. I like that, like, amateur air. That's why I love, like, the camp vibes of, like, AVGN. And I don't know, that's also why I don't mind that his, like, videos are just filled with, like, a lot of newer videos are filled with, like, meta jokes and shit. Because it's like, oh, I recognize that. I know what that is.
Am I not supposed to hit this flower? You know, I've thought about it in regards to Jerma being- becoming the Mr. Beast of streamers. If Jerma paid me a hundred thousand dollars to go in like a torture labyrinth, I would do it. Especially if he talked to me in that his Jerma way, where he was like, alright, listen. He wouldn't say it like that. I don't know why I said it like that. Bit's over. I fucked it up. Huh. Looks like we gotta kill Morgan. Oh, that's cool. I wanted to see if Luigi would react to getting wet. I don't think he particularly cares. Is there not something else to do in here? What the fuck am I supposed to do about this plant? It's right there! Luigi, just spray water on it! Guys, is he stupid? In general, I don't know, the idea of getting paid absorbent, like, a crazy amount of money by Germa, I could live with that. I gotta stop thinking about Germa, Mr. Beast, man. I don't know, again, I got nothing to talk about in my life. There's no exciting updates there. Nothing on my front, boss. I picked up Sonic Heroes at GameStop. I guess that's something. Half of the reason I picked up Sonic Heroes at GameStop was that on the back it says join the team. I do already own the GameCube version of that game, but I got the Xbox version now. And I'm like, that might be alright, actually. Because the Xbox is, like, more powerful than a GameCube. So I'm like, what if it's, like, what if it's, like, better? I don't know. I don't remember having any problems with, like, frame rate or performance in the GameCube version. But strictly speaking, like, if it's getting ported to Xbox, it's probably even better. I mean, at least it's not the PS2 version. Oh, the PS2 version of Shadow the Hedgehog as a kid. Maybe I could get another copy of that game on Xbox. 
Because on GameCube, that game is like 50 bucks. And it's like, dude, I don't think like Shadow the Hedgehog is a video game that's worth 50 bucks. PS2 had a lot of bad ports. It kind of did. The PS2 is like the original Nintendo Switch. It was like the underpowered system of that generation that also like beat everyone else's asses so bad that it wasn't even close. I mean, the PS2 beat everybody up so bad that to this day it's still the best selling console of all time. I mean, hey, it was hard to beat Gran Turismo. It, it is kind of interesting thinking about, like, genuinely a big reason why the PS2 was, like, so popular at the time was that it really did just make for a great DVD player, too. And it's like, man, I guess it's one of those things where, like, Going from VHS to DVD is probably, like, a really big, notable improvement. But then when they tried to pull, like, Blu-ray with PS3, that didn't take off in the same way. Because, like, Blu-rays never really became as popular as the DVD at its peak. Also, honestly, the PS2 was a cheap DVD player... The PS3 wasn't that cheap of a Blu-ray player. <laughs> like, people were buying PS2s for DVDs because it was cheap. Fucking launch PS3s being $600 is crazy. It's kind of wild that even with all the inflation that's happened in the world, there is still not a, like, big three console that costs more than the PS3 did at launch. Like, Sony sure as fuck learned from that mistake. They were like, we can never charge that much for a system again. I gotta be honest also, I don't know what the fuck to do. I don't know how to get rid of this barn door. I've already been here. Does this glass not look like it's broken? I hate the texture on this. It like genuinely pisses me off. It looks like I should be able to dump water on the plant in there. Do I have to go all the way back around? I guess I do. Maybe I have to do something with that pipe. PS2 Monkey Ball lacking audio design is crazy also. play the old monkey ball games. I really liked Banana Rumble. I think that game is, like, pretty stellar. Maybe calling it pretty stellar is a bit of an exaggeration, but I don't know. It was just, like, a really good video game.
no ball rolling noises and monkey ball is something. Not even any ball rolling noises. That seems really obvious now, but I didn't see it before. So you have to fucking forgive me. When in doubt, use the solutions device. It's true. Solutions device never lets you down. I know you hiding with one of my pinwheel pieces. I'm not leaving without it. I'm kind of shocked that there hasn't been one of the blue ghosts. Oh. Well, you know the old motherfucker Morgan saying, complaining works. <laughs> Literally, it always does the trick. If I'm stuck on something for too long, just complain about it and the problem will fix itself. It is my most consistent trick. Dark Moon is kind of an arcade-like entry now that you're seeing it again. I mean, it did literally have, like, an arcade game based on it. That's why, like, when this port got announced, I wasn't even surprised that it was coming out, because I was like... They probably have a bunch of these assets in HD already, because of the arcade game. I remember it being decently fun, too. I played it at a Dave & Buster's. Is he pooping? 
Is he eating poop? What is bro doing? Pat, I like fudge. <laughs> Hi Gino, welcome. Welcome, welcome. After the success of Luigi's Mansion, the arcade game, Luigi's Mansion Dark Mood is arcade at home. He really is, like, scratching his butt and then sniffing it. Bro, he's eating shit! What is wrong with him? Mmm, tastes like corn. Fuck's his problem. Okay, we cannot progress that way right now. Oh wait, but that's an issue. I don't know how to get back to the lounge. see the mouse with the gem and I'm like well, I gotta get it now I can't let the mouse win Am I hitting literally everything except this mouse? Why aren't my attacks working? How are you dodging all of my attacks? Please. What the fuck, dude? There we go. That guy was juking me like it was his fucking job. Holy shit. <laughs> Who let this mouse be immune to potatoes? That's what I'm saying. this way. But the question is where this way? So it won't let me in the bathroom. It won't let me in here. I really like that detail that when Luigi's trying to go into the bathroom, he's very polite and knocks first.
maybe I can go back around now. Do the balloon stuff. Oh, wait. We need to stretch a bit. Man, it's very funny that this game is made for, like, children, and I just kind of fucking suck at it. These puzzles are too much for me. I feel like if I played this game when I was 13, I would have fucking hated it because I wouldn't be able to progress. I would have been like, fuck this, I'm going back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity. Which is like, objectively a worse video game, but it's a worse video game that I would have understood. I don't know, I haven't actually played Gates to Infinity since I was younger. I wonder if the, like, heat that game gets is, like, warranted at all. Because, I don't know, the, the general public just kind of rejected it. But I wonder if it was because the game was actually bad, or if people were really mad about another Pokemon game going 3D but being kind of ugly about it. Why the fuck did they have to put the balloon there? Dude, I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Now I'm starting to get annoyed. So I feel like I've just been going around in circles. And I don't know what the fucking solution is. Oh, this is new. That's a really cool room. This is really cool. The fuck are you supposed to do here? Oh, brother. Pretty awesome room. Room where a guy kills you over and over, and by the way, it's too small for you to have anything to reasonably do. Well, that was my only lead, but unfortunately, the only place it left me was in the jaws of a plant. This game needs a Goombella button. I need Goombella to tell me what the fuck to do here.
I'm gonna be really mad if the solution to this problem is, like, really obvious. There could have been a phone EGAD button. There should have been. Because I'm lost as fuck. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know shit from fuck. I don't know who I am. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know why I'm going this way. I just know that I have to kill. Epic remix of Cat Mix theme song. Or whatever the fuck that cat food brand was. Man, I was really hoping that would lead somewhere. I don't know. I was hoping I would take this vine down and it would drop something over here. Like, come on. Tell me that breaking all these vines does something. No? <sighs> what the fuck, dude? Dude! Dude! What the fuck? I have to go through here so I can get to the stairs, but I need to, assu I'm assuming, go through the bathroom first, but I have to find a way into the bathroom. But I need to get into the lounge to get to the water supply, but I can't get to the water supply because fucking Super Hulok just came back on the air and Sherlock just kissed another man. So all the Fujoshis who are really into that show just got everything that their heart desires. Meanwhile, I haven't gotten fucking shit for the past hour because I don't know where this last pinwheel piece is. I'm getting really scared. I'm getting really frightened. And I just found out that Jesus Christ is never coming back. Do you understand that how much of a problem this is? I need to go to the basement. That's the problem, is that I keep trying to think, go up. I need to go to the basement. Gino redeemed pretty bad for that to say he's not. I don't know, that was a moment of weakness. I'm not sure if that was like a divine prophecy or not. I'm getting, like, but I, the er, most earnest part of that is I am getting really scared. Thinking about whether or not Christ will come back. <laughs> now the question is, how the fuck do I get to the basement? their way to the basement around here? That, like, fucking bit just reminded me of the one, like, Lion King image. <laughs> That's, like... Fake Jesus believer, like, 
or not fake Jesus believers. What the fuck am I saying? It was like atheists when Christ comes back, and they're like, oh my god, he was real? Jesus, you are Lord. And then the second panel was like, Jesus believers, and it was like, we have been waiting for you, Christ. I think the way I word that is, like, probably funnier than it actually is on the image. I gotta be real. I, I think calling Christians Christ believers is really fucking good. I mean, hey, is that not what they are? Does believing in Christianity not make you a Christ believer? Christ pilled Jesus maxers. Dude, that's how you could get like radiate radiate. That's how you could get Reddit converted. Talking about the Christ pilled Jesus maxers. No, that's definitely, like, I don't know. You, 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 like, say that on, like, 4chan, and all of a sudden you have, like, a shit ton of, like, Jesus believers on 4chan. Seems to be the way to the basement, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Where the fuck is this basement entrance, dog? Because this just brings me upstairs. But it's like explicitly the game says it is in the basement. So we have to go down. No matter what, we have to go down. I don't know if you could actually convince Redditors to, like, believe in Christ. Because, like, Reddit kind of is the home of the atheist. But, like, not any of the chill atheists. It's, like, the home of the atheists who, like, need to let you know that they think they're more superior than you because they don't believe in God. And, like, I would consider myself, like an agnostic, I'm kind of just like, if there's a god out there, that's chill. If there's not, oh well. The light of NPO god shines upon 4chan users. What does NPO stand for? Oh, you typoed. I, I literally, <laughs> I looked up NPO, and I got really, really confused <laughs> when I looked it up and got Netherlands public, like a public television broadcaster. NPO also stands for non-profit organization. Which I definitely don't think 4chan users are into. Like, the average 4chan user does not believe in charity. Nintendo patent owners. <laughs> Wouldn't that just be Nintendo? <laughs> like, don't they own all their own patents? Do they have to, do they have to, like, I don't know, like, pass them out? They're passing around the patents like they're blunts. 
Alright, who wants to own Mario this week? Mm, no, you're not respectable enough. You don't get Mario. You get you get Tiny Kong. Yeah, we can't figure out what to do with her either. Good luck. Mario's custody battle. Maybe I gotta do something with this bed. Oh. Okay, and what universe does this help? Oh, oh, wait, I see how this helps me. Why doesn't it let me go on the bed? What the f what the fuck am I supposed to do with this balloon then? Dude, I've been on this level for like an hour. I'm getting fucking tired of this fucking pinwheel hunt, dude. <laughs> In what fucking way do I use this fucking balloon? Average Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon experience. Is this really how it be? I definitely don't remember like Luigi's Mansion 3 being this cryptic. I feel like I got through that game pretty easy breezy. Dude, they made this game, they made, like, Luigi's Mansion 3 shorter just on the basis that it's, like, an understandable game. It's, like, the average person can fathom what they're cooking. This game is, like, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know if I like it. Sorry, that sounded worse than I meant it to. I'm, I'm, I'm liking the game still. I just don't like this level. Also, hi, Jacko Bones. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. If I could just figure out what the fuck to do with this bed. Wait. Maybe I have to move it from the other side. Wait. Maybe I was overthinking this. Or I guess, like, not thinking enough about it. Nope. A thousand plagues upon your family. So what the fuck do I do with the bed? Cause like, the bed is like, shaking. And brother, nobody's having sex on it. But, like, you guys see this. You see, like, the wall jut out 
when I like hit it with the vacuum? Why the fuck would they do that if there's not something you're meant to do here? Why the fuck would they have a balloon in here if you're not meant to do something with the balloon? This is the stupidest video game I've ever played in my life. This might be like one of the top 10 stupidest video games I've ever played. I would have to make like that full list, but like what the fuck dude? Oh yeah, you need to move the entire bed. Did you think about like vacuuming the ceiling fans? No, because I'm, like, a normal human being. Never in my life would I, like, see a ceiling fan in someone's house and be like... You know, I bet if I got that working, it would shut their bed into the other room. Because I'm not fucking crazy. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Now I gotta figure out a way to get this. Okay, get rid of this. What? I guess I needed enough weight. Man, I hate this gardener. I'll tell you what. Give me your glasses, boy. Got all the pinwheel pieces at least. Good job, Luigi. That was the last vein for the pinwheel gate. I'll bring you back here so we can figure out how to reinstall them. This the time we're about to get is going to be really upsetting to look at. Every other level in this game has taken us like 20 minutes. That was 58. Jesus Christ. nearly an entire hour and i bet it wasn't counting the times that i was like paused because i was keeping track of how long that was taking on twitch that definitely took me a little over an hour good god good job scaring those ghosts out of their hiding spots young feller Well, I get an upgrade, at least. When vacuuming up a ghost, you'll be able to charge the power gauge longer, weakening the ghost even more. Okay. That's not bad. We'd be in a real pickle if we lost those pinwheel vein... veins. 
I'm sure I have something in my toolbox we can use to put them back in place. I'll tell you, you really have a knack for stirring up trouble, youngster. You haven't even reached the hollow tree, and the ghosts are already giving you a hard time. Stay strong, my boy. We'll have that dark moon back in the sky before you know it. Alright, Luigi. Got those pinwheel veins with you? Take this wrench and use it to attach the pinwheel veins back to the gate. This fucking cartoonishly large wrench. Remember, lefty Lucy, righty tidy. Now, once you open the gate, enter the hollow tree and look for a way up. <laughs> it kind of did look like a, car a comically large pipe a little bit. Now, where could my pipe be? Luigi! Okay, I'll be comfortably monitoring your progress from here. You know, as usual. Anywho, good luck, kiddo. kill this guy. Aw, oh, can you hear my puppies bark? I can hear Roxy out there. Ow. Got dogs? Yeah, I got three dogs. All three of my dogs have Twitch emotes also. I think I set them as the follower emotes because I think anybody should be able to view my dogs for any reason. I don't know what the fuck that did. They're very sweet dogs. Fergus being the sweetest of them. He's such a good boy. It sure released spiders. It sure did. I guess I have to plant stuff. Maybe one of these does the spike plant. Yeah, after being on this level for, like, over an hour, I've learned all of its tricks. Except the fucking obscure shit, like the ceiling fan. That'll probably always perplex me. You okay, Luigi? Luigi, don't just stand there. Don't let them take the last one. Ooh. Yeah, I'm liking the upgrade already. Fuck you. He was kind of fashionable with the pot on his head, but I still had to kill him. Oh. 
Okay, finally we can do this. The nightmare is over. I do it. Is he not even gonna use the wrench? Oh no, there he goes. Twenty smackers for the big hit or strong hit. I don't know why I said it like that. Okay, I can't grab the spider web like that. That is true. Honestly, why didn't Luigi just think of that? <clears throat> Alright, that one- that- that got a chuckle out of me. You do still have to die, though. Hey. That one wasn't funny. You should be ashamed. Okay, I need a way to grab fire. Oh, I can get this. There we go. This game does love its spiders. Criminy, where'd that creepy looking door come from? That's the only way up to the treetop. Just give me a second here. Bingo, I found something in the Haunted Tower's records. There's a special key that opens the door, but it's hidden in the crypt. I hope you're not scared of graveyards, Luigi. It's not like they're full of vengeful spirits or anything. <laughs> Poor Luigi. Huh? Is this really the best way you can do this, Luigi? <laughs> At least he had a fun time doing it, it seems. He seemed pretty jovial about the whole thing. I assume this is the way to the crypt? Always love Charles Martinet's little mutterings for each character. Again, I've said it before, I, I just adore the way Luigi is characterized in this game. And a lot of it really does come down to how Charles Martinet does, like, Luigi's, like, voice acting. Like, you get a lot out of Luigi's, like, personality and voice, despite the fact that the most he says in, like, a sentence is, like, here I go. Now what do I do? The spiders won't come back down. They won't give me vine. I miss vine. Please?
I don't understand. I don't get it. But this is the way to the crypt, right? Yeah. So I have to go this way. Where the fuck did the spiders go? They took the vine with them. Huh? This game is fucking stupid! What the hell, man? Why would I guess that that's the solution? What was wrong with next level games when they were making this? They were on some shit. Also no problem, Jacko Bones. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night. Luigi is number one. Never forget this. Even when his game confounds me, Luigi's still the GOAT. He represents the best of us. Now what on earth am I supposed to do? If one is spider, that doesn't suggest another thing. But it's not bringing down the spiders. Like, no spiders are coming down from this thing. This game is really good at making me feel fucking stupid about not understanding its absolutely asinine puzzles. Enter the creepy old crypt. Dude, it's Toad! Wait, I remember this cutscene. This cutscene's really cute. I'm free! Wait, Luigi? What are you doing here? Aw, look at that. Aw, it doesn't matter. You're my hero. Ciao. No sign of the special key? Those ghosts are really starting to ruffle my fev. Cremony, is that one of my toad assistants? How did he get trapped inside that painting? I sent him to look after the place. No wonder why it's such a mess. We'd better get him back to the bunker. He might know the whereabouts of the special key we're looking for. But I can't pixelate both of you out of there. Let me think. I know. Lead him to the gardener's lab. There's a pixelator screen there. 
It's an old prototype, but it should do the trick. Alright, calm down, Toad. You're going a little crazy. Toad. Toad! It's fine! There's no bats anymore. Toad. <laughs> it's like I'm carrying a baby. E God sent. E God, what the fuck? E Gad sent one toad to keep a castle. Also, hi, Soul. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Uh oh. Well, we have to make sure they don't kill Toad. Kind of a mill free blog. because they all had mirrors, they would be, like, harder to, like, capture. That does not seem to be the case. Oh, maybe I could get the little baby one first. Easy clap. Fuck. What the fuck? How the fuck am I supposed to do this? I'm gonna die! I hate the mirrors! I hate the mirrors! I don't know, it was, it was like, like a socks noise. I don't, I don't know, I, I didn't, th I don't know. I don't remember socks making many throaty noises. But maybe I haven't watched enough socks streams lately. Tends to lean towards Donnie from Wild Thornberries. Uh, 
You know what's funny? I think I've only ever watched, like, one Wild Thornberries thing, and it was the crossover it had with Rugrats. Which is even weirder, because I didn't actually watch that much Rugrats as a kid. I think I probably only saw, like, a couple episodes of Rugrats. It's, like, definitely weird being a kid who, like, grew up in the 2000s. Because it's, like, so easy to forget that before I was born, the biggest show on Nickelodeon was not Spongebob and still is to this day. It was the Rugrats. Everybody was big into the Rugrats. What the fuck? I hate this stupid ass boss. Don't tell me I have to restart from the beginning. Don't be mean. Don't say that. I don't like the way that was worded. Why? What the fuck, dude? I have to actually do everything over again? Dude! What the fuck? What is wrong with this game? This is like a deeply evil Nintendo game. Why is this game, like, fucking malicious? Well, now I gotta speedrun this whole level just to get back to where I was. At least I know the solutions. I guess. That is true. That's not nothing. I'm just like, what the hell, dude? What is wrong with this game? This is a deeply evil video game. But at the same time, it's like evil in a specific way where I'm like, I don't want to stop playing, though. Like, I don't know. It's like fascinating to me. Can't complain about hearing the ringtone again, either. This game is, like, early Zelda-type taking the piss with its puzzles, I feel like. I don't know, have you guys seen that one, like, Twitter, like, trend going around right now? Where it's, like, game devs never take for granted the idea of what if it's funny, though? That's what this game is. This game is a series of what it's funny though moments.
Oh, see, I didn't even see that curtain lift earlier. Wow, you really can speed through these levels once you know the solutions, though. Sometimes there's a treasure bat. Fuck! I hate the bats! Stop! Be at peace now. Dude, when the toad hits the wall, he makes a squeaky noise. That's so cute. progress. Nope. I'm not losing this fucking fight again. Never in my goddamn life. bitch. Fuck. No, dude, I'm gonna die again, and I'm gonna get really mad about it. No, come on, dude. No, knock it off. Stop, stop, Crow, give me help, Crow! I'm going to explode into a million tiny pieces. Oh my god, stop. Stop. Thank you. Oh my god. Well, this is easy now. Just don't let go. Eat shit. Dude. That was like 10 minutes. 
As I live and breathe, those were the ghosts of the three sisters. They're regular paranormal celebrities. Yep, the periscope was going bonkers for a minute there, but it's back to normal now. The sisters are normally very polite ghosts. It's disturbing to see them act so rude. Good job capturing them. Now the question is, how do we get out of here? Toad is used to being picked up and thrown around? That's true. Wait, maybe if I toss him at the statue. Um! <laughs> I don't think that was it. Come on, Toad, we gotta get out of here in a hurry. What's the rush? Yeah, sure, whatever. Not the sewer level. Oh, brother. After all that shit, they're making me do the sewer level? Oh! Here we are. Toad, it's a shallow body of water. You'll be fine. What is his problem? He's like a little kid. He sees, like, a puddle, and he's like, I don't want to drown. He's right there! He's right there! What the fuck do you want me to do? He's right here! He's right in front of the fucking computer! Huh? I don't know what I did any different that time! Well done, my boy. See, that graveyard wasn't so bad, was it? Nice work capturing the three sisters and leading my toad assistant to safety. He just popped out of the screen over here. Now it's your turn, kiddo. I got a silver rank from having to reset. That is the only time we will get a good rank is if we have to redo the entire fucking level.
Good work there, Luigi. Though I really hoped we'd find that special key inside the crypt. On the bright side, you didn't come back totally empty-handed. Now let's have a look at those ghosts. It's too bad we have to keep the three sisters down in the vault, but it's for their own safety. Once we restore the Dark Moon, maybe they'll be willing to join me for a steaming cup of ghost tea. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Anywho, I feel bad for that toad fellow. Being trapped inside that painting can't have been fun. He seems to be having trouble remembering what happened. You know, for being such a- for having such a big head, he really doesn't have much rattling around in there. Anywho, his rescue wasn't a complete waste of time. He brought back a little snapshot taken by my special tri-dimensional security camera. Give me a couple minutes to unscramble the image. Also, hi, Eeps. Welcome. I'm glad you had a good day at work. I have to do a whole nother level before the boss. Jesus Christ. Alright, Luigi, I've unscrambled the image that our toad friend brought back. Let's take a look-see. Hold on a sec. That key there, it looks mighty special if you ask me. That boo is handing it over to that pinkish ghost. We'll need to take a very close look at this image in order to find clues. Or maybe you could use those fancy motion controls. Or left or right, your choice. The important thing is to give it a good hard look and see what you can find. Oh, and you can zoom in and out with that. Just look at those ghosts. They're out of control. The boos seem to be encouraging their bad behavior. What are those boos carrying? Suspicious. The rooftop pool seems to be a meeting point for the boo. Their power increases when they gang up and they feed off of each other's evil energy. I've never seen that kind of ghost before. A key in the image. It must be the special key we're looking for. You know, the key that unlocks the door inside the hollow tree. The ghosts must be hiding that key from us, because they don't want us to get to the top of the tree. And they don't want us to get to the top of the tree, because that's where the dark moon piece is. Ho oh, ho, these are some crafty ghosts we're dealing with. But they're no match for the intellect of the living. It's for your local library shelving, so it's kind of a mix between Mario Party minigame and public service. <laughs> it's a really good way to put it. Now then, the image was recorded at the rooftop pool. Get that special key. That really was like a 3DS ass bit. Fucking AR camera type bit. feel like they wanted to give these ghosts rabbits energy? A little bit. I I've heard these ghosts compared to, like, minions, and, like, I kind of see it, but they don't annoy me. I don't know. They're kind of cute. I don't know. Maybe I'm, like, turning into, like, a white, white mom who's gonna go on Facebook and post, like, a picture of a minion that says... Does anybody else think that kids don't work hard enough nowadays? Back in my day, we had to walk back and forth from work in the rain, snow, and fog no matter what. Nowadays, kids get to work from home? What? What the heck? Why? What? Why, why, but I didn't have to, I didn't get to work from home. I had to go in public. No matter what.
Oh no, what am I doing? Go back. These ghosts are definitely way less fucked up than the GameCube ghosts. Yeah! Yo, what's up? I don't know, they did send me to the dollhouse. Which, I mean, anybody who's ever played a scary game can tell you you really don't want to go to the dollhouse. Somehow that wasn't what I was supposed to do. <laughs> Jack in the Box sounds like Inspector Gadget theme. <laughs> Inspector Gadget. <laughs> Inspector Gadget. You know, you might be onto something. He doesn't like it. I'm torturing him. What the fuck? Dude, they're multiplying. They're committing mitosis in there. You know what I just realized? I beat Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2 recently, and I forgot to add it to my Twitter thread. I'm doing a really bad job of posting online. I'm sorry, everybody. Your media thread is like half a year behind. Well, I'm not. Do I'm not doing that bad, at least. What the fuck? Oh, wait. There's got to be something in that room. What stopped it for you was you watched all of RB... I almost said RBY like the Pokemon games. Don't look at me. To be fair, I don't know anything about Ruby. You didn't think you were getting me with that. <laughs> 
right? The fucking basic ass shuffle. Come on, I'm not stupid. There may be many points in this game that make me look stupid. That's not going to be one of them. It happens. I don't I don't care too much about like logging stuff. Like I don't have like a backlogged or like a letterbox or anything. I don't I don't go out of my way to catalog these things because I want to review them. I just like I like having like a easy concise way to see like hey, what is the games that I beat this year? That's why I only do games too cuz it's like I play way more video games than I do like watch movies or TV shows. Like there there there'd be no point in me doing like a full media thread if 95% of it is gonna be video games, and I'm gonna have way more to say about those video games. You know? He's still in the damn way. Honestly, like, another thing I don't like about websites like Letterboxd and, like, Backlogged is that they have, like, a review system, like, a star system, and, like, I just don't fuck with that, man. I gotta keep it real. I hate giving things, like, review scores, because I never feel like it gives the full picture. Man, how fast did they want me to fucking react to that? What the fuck? We get to the pool party from the bathroom. Why is the lighting of this cutscene unusually dark? What the fuck? Dude, he did Plasma Fist. What the fuck? Oh my god, get me out of the goo! Fucking goobered over here. Dude, I'm pretty happy with myself in Pokemon Go. I I just randomly today, right as I was leaving home to walk to work, I got a shiny clam pearl in Pokemon Go. This is the second shiny clam pearl that I've gotten. So now, right now, I don't have enough for both Huntail and Gorobus in terms of candies, but I did get the shiny Gorobus. I also found out that it's fucking random, so theoretically, I could just end up getting a second shiny Gorobus, which would kind of make me upset.
But if I could get both the shiny Huntail and Gorbis, that would go crazy. I don't know, I'd feel godlike. The only other time I've gotten, like, two of the same shiny in Pokemon Go is when the Gumi Community Day was going on, and I ended up getting two shiny Gumi. One is still a Gumi, the other I evolved into a Gudra. Oh no, I need to be up there. What am I doing? What am I supposed to be doing here? Maybe we dive from the diving bar? I don't know, this game's fucking weird. Oh wait, I gotta hit these vines for sure. Or maybe not? What the fuck am I supposed to do here? It does explicitly state, Hey Bozo, this is where you're supposed to be. But my mission is literally reach the rooftop pole. Or pool, sorry. I, I could not have succeeded in my mission more if I tried. Do you like Luigi's moves? I don't understand. I'm literally at the pool. What the fuck do you want me to do, game? Game literally said, your objective is simple. Get to the family pool. Got it. I'm at the fucking pool. What do I do now, boss? Uh, 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 uh. was a little bit like the angry ass dog. I don't know, can I suck up the water with a straw? I don't understand this game! This has to be like one of the most cryptic games I've played on stream. How the fuck did people beat this game?
This was like a really popular 3DS game too. I think it sold like five million or something. So like, there's a there's a non insignificant amount of people who played this game and beat it. And I can't, I am struggling to join their ranks because I'm just like, what the fuck do I do? Am I not supposed to flash my light somewhere? What the f fuck, dude? Oh my god. My headphones. That was so violent. Dude! Everything is blowing up right now. My life is falling apart right now. I'm getting into like cartoon scenarios right now. Is it this grass? Oh my god. It wasn't even the grass. Dude. Dude. What the fuck? What the fuck am I supposed to do? I don't understand. The mission literally says reach the rooftop pool. I have been walking around the rooftop pool for like 15 minutes now. I <laughs> what is wrong with this game? Do I have to do something down here? That's the, that's the last thing I can think of. This is like desperation, man. <laughs> Toilet paper gem. No, it doesn't seem like it's anything down here. Oh my god, dude. Dude.
I don't know what the fuck the solution is. Close its mouth? I don't fucking know. I don't understand how they have a mission that's called reach the, f the rooftop pool, and you reach the rooftop pool, and then the game starts twiddling its thumbs and being like, well, I don't know what you're supposed to do from there. You figure it out. You're the one who told me to come here! I don't understand. Why the fuck does it say, reach the rooftop pool, you go to the rooftop pool, and nothing happens? I feel like I'm going crazy. I feel like I'm going fucking crazy, dude. Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon, rooftop pool. At first glance, the rooftop pool seems deserted, but a quick search will reveal a missing frog statue in one corner of the pool. I thought it was just supposed to be symmetrical. See, I didn't even notice, because the lighting in this game is, like, too dark. <laughs> Anytime the game, like, flashes lightning to try and show me something, it's like, I'm not gonna see it, dude. It's not giving me enough time to see it. Man, what the fuck? Dude, it's Polterpup. Look at how cute he is. Bad doggy. Uh, 
Criminy, where did that ghostly dog come from? Now it's vanished completely. Ugh, blasted pooch, let's bring you back. Lightning only showed a white silhouette of it for like two frames at a time? Jesus Christ. That was 25 minutes? More than half of that time was spent in the fucking pool. Oh my god, there's another level after this. Jesus Christ, dude. What the fuck? You know, I want to beat this game on stream, because I like Luigi, and I think he has a lot of funny things in this game. And this is not me saying I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm proposing something different. When I'm playing this game with all its cryptic nonsense, should I just, should I just like, read a walkthrough this entire game? Do you guys think it would be more enjoyable for me and more enjoyable for you if I literally just read a walkthrough for this entire game? Because, man, this level has been really egregious with the cryptic nonsense. I'm thinking that's, like, the main way I'm gonna get my fun out of this game is if I just consult a walkthrough <laughs> the whole time. Well, I didn't see that coming. We need to recover that special key at all costs. I tried to locate that confounded canine with the periscope, but the dog on dog's gone. <laughs> That's called wordplay, my soft-spoken friend. Anywho, let's unload the Poltergeist 5000. I believe you captured a new kind of ghost. Did I ever watch those videos of people playing with Mario toys in the pool when I was younger? Not, like, specifically those videos, but I did watch a lot of Mario toy videos. I guess maybe not a lot. I, I think I really only watched, like, cute Mario Brothers. When the fuck did, like, Super Mario Logan come out? Because I feel like that was beyond my time. I feel like Super Mario Logan was, like, the Mario plush thing, like, way after all, like, the OGs were there. And also, he was really racist and got banned from YouTube. But now he's back. Super Mario Logan thing was a thing back in the day around the OGs, but he came to his full power after the plush golden age. He, like, he, like, gained a monopoly. And it's like, he's not even good. Like, I just looked up, like, the Super Mario Logan, like, channel. I think he did, like, a fucking, like, Grimace Shake video two weeks ago. That's too late! That's, that's way too late to be making a joke about the Grimace Shake. When the fuck was the Grimace Shake, like, the meme of the week? That was, like, June of last year. It's not even five months late. It's literally, like, a year late to the Grimace Shake meme. 
<laughs> Why did Super Mario Logan make a bit about the Grimace Shake? Oh, but it's a purple Wendy's Frosty. It's different. I'm not fucking stupid, Super Mario Logan. I know that you're making a joke about the Grimace Shake when you put Ronald McDonald and, like, a fucked-up-looking Grimace monster on your thumbnail. He's making, like, a skibbity toilet video that has, like, Sprite Cranberry on it. Like, dude. Think they're bringing it back? Is it gonna be, like, a meme again, though? Like, that's the thing. Is it gonna be a meme again? These videos all look, like, really bad. I'm, like, looking at the thumbnails of these Super Mario Logan videos, and I'm, like... I haven't even watched them, and I'm, like, these are some of the worst videos I could imagine. It feels like a content farm. And it's, like, you would think that, like, with all these, like, different puppets that this guy had to make, that it would be, like, too elaborate to, like be like a content farm you know if you're gonna do a content farm you have to be making videos constantly in like a like a i don't know but then you like look at the upload dates and like in the past two weeks he's uploaded six videos he's uploaded a video about kendrick lamar and inside out and skibbity toilet this is a content farm. This is just, this this channel exists as a way to get cheap or not cheap. This is a way to get easy ad revenue. You just like find the topic of the week and you put together a puppet show in like an hour, you get it to be like long enough where you can get the YouTube ad revenue and then you're set, man. This is like this is like I don't know. I'm, like, really sad for the kids who are watching this stuff, because they're, like, rotting their brains on this shit. If this is the way you're learning about, like, the latest internet, like, sensations, like, I feel really bad for you. <laughs> it really is. It really is. Dude, and they have like a they have like a gaming channel. The crazy thing is that the gaming channel is less active than the real channel. But there's like dude, these these videos seem even worse. These videos seem even worse. I'm looking at a thumbnail of, like, Roblox characters with giant asses, and it's called, like, SML Roblox Giat Simulator. I feel like I'm going to explode into a million tiny pieces. a sizable adolescent teenage Super Mario Logan fandom in current day who grew up around the videos he was doing in the two th uh, 2010s. That's like scary to me. That's like really scary to me. Heavy interaction with both the Friday Night Funyuns and Super Mario Glitchy 4 fan communities. Super it's weird. I like watched 
Super Mario glitchy 4 before he, like, blew up. Before he just became, like, SMG 4. I, like, watched that, dude. Because he was just, like, another guy who uploaded, like, Mario 64 blooper videos. And then, it, like, I don't know, he became a beast of his own. Now he's the amazing digital circus guy, which is, like, really fucked up to me. And I know he's not the guy who created, like, the amazing digital circus. He's just the executive producer. But, like, I'm really sorry to Gooseworks or whoever the fuck else worked on Amazing Digital Circus. That show is a Super Mario Glitchy 4 production. That is, like, I am never going to be able to, like, disassociate that. When I see Pomni online... I think of, like, Mario 64 blooper videos where Mario says a slur. That's all I think about. I mean, yeah. I, I'm, I'm aware. It's just... That's all I think about. At the end of the day, he's still the executive producer. He had some say in getting the amazing Digital Circus funded. You know, when you when you work at a company, in like a media company, you gotta go through the boss to get your thing funded. You can't go to the treasurer and be like, hey, give me money. The treasurer has to get permission from the boss to give you that money. Man, I forgot I was playing a video game. I need to get some ice cream real quick. Is that okay with everyone? That's the wrong tab. I'm gonna take a quick BRB. I'm gonna grab some ice cream. Uh, cause I think I need it to wake me up a bit more. Uh, when we come back, uh, Luigi. Yay!
What the fuck? I just got back. <clears throat> OBS. What the fuck? Reconnection successful. Hi. I don't know why that happened. Dude, literally the timing was... I, I got back to my desk. I had, like, my snack. And the stream immediately exploded. It was good, by the way. I had, like, an Oreo flying saucer. Dude, that shit is so good. Let me take my meds also. I didn't take them earlier because I don't want to fall asleep during my streams. Um... Yeah, the plan for the rest of this playthrough, I think, is just gonna be, uh, I'm going to use a walkthrough. Because <laughs> I, I, I don't appreciate how cryptic this game can be, but I appreciate Luigi being a silly and cute and funny guy. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. I'll try to tune the periscope to find that dog's hiding place. Why don't you take a breather, son? Well, Luigi, I've got good news and bad news. Good news is that the ghost dog that took the special key is still somewhere in the haunted towers. The bad news is that the dog is running from room to room, so we can't actually pinpoint him. However, the periscope discovered something that may help us. The dog left behind a trail of spectral paw prints, starting in the courtyard. If you follow that invisible trail, you should eventually find him. The prints will be invisible to the naked eye, so you'll need to use the dark light device to reveal them. Ready, Luigi? Don't you dare come back here without that special key. <laughs> you should have seen your face, Sonny. <laughs> Priceless. What flavor ice cream? It was like these Oreo, like, flying saucers. So the cookie is like a big version of an Oreo cookie. And then the ice cream, like, vaguely tastes like the Oreo cream. But it's kind of just vanilla ice cream for the most part. Okay. Again, I am consulting a walkthrough as much as possible. Dude, he's peeing! He peed! What? What? He peed! Dude, I've been looking for that video. Does anybody remember this video? Where it's like a girl, like, watching some fucking video? And she just starts repeating, He peed! Yo, oh, why? He peed! Should give a point redeem that's like 10k points for temporary walkthrough removal. <laughs> I don't know, that, like, having no walkthrough led me to dark places. I started ranting about Super Mario Logan for, like, 15 minutes. Those were dark times. I feel like for the rest of this game, we just gotta keep the walkthrough open. No, I already said that. What am I doing? I'm just- I'm just repeating myself. 
says I have to go to the tool shed. Did I walk past the tool shed? Does the tool shed stairs not lead you to the tool shed? No, this is the- I'm already in the tool shed. Okay, I'm stupid. Even with the walkthrough, I'm stupid. So we have to go to the conservatory. The Seedling Laboratory. do here. Don't tell me the game is pulling some shit where it's like, because I technically didn't like, reveal the dog's footprints. It's not- he's not actually at the observatory, or, sorry, conservatory. Be so for real. Did he go out into the garden? Oh my god, I skipped a part of the walkthrough. Well, that's my bad. Come on. You think that's scary to me? It is! It is! I'm so scared right now! This piece 
useful right now. <laughs> bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. Don't you know about the bird? Well, Peter's gonna tell you about the bird. I said a bird, bird, bird. A bird is the word. I said a bird, bird, bird. It's too late at night. It's almost one in the morning. <laughs> yeah, okay, I went too fast. Now we go to the conservatory. Okay. I skipped a step. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm so fucking sorry. My dog. Well, first we have to do this. Oh, brother, not this shit again. This fucking... I forgot the button that shoots. Okay. Wait, that's not Polterpup. That's the gem I already got. I'm not very bright. Well, the walkthrough just had, says head up to the conservatory, but I did see Polterpup, like, jump in here. Which is f fucking me up. Do you really think this game would do that? Lie to me? Wait, no, that's exactly what this game would do to me. Actually, it seems to be Luigi Man... <laughs> Luigi's Mansion- Fuck! Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon's favorite thing to do. Dude, Polterpup did that to just put me in the goo. It's fucked up. this to me. Don't be mean. Don't be mean. Stop it. Oh my god, get the heart, Luigi. Do not die. Under no circumstances am I allowed to die. Because if I die at another level in this game, I'm shutting the game off and I'm not turning it back on.
Give me my monies. Give me my monies. Oh my god. Get me out of here. Is he not here? Is he still in the bathroom? Fucking giant drill. Oh, puppy. No. Stop it. Oh, brother. I'm sorry, Polterpup, you're very cute, but your game ends here. Huzzah! You finally nabbed the special key. Good work catching that dog, Luigi. You know, I think the little guy just wanted someone to play with. Well, he'll find plenty of playmates in the vault. I'll bring you back now, son. Hold on. Yay. I should have been reading a walkthrough the whole time. I got a silver star for that. Or silver rank. Wouldn't put a dog in the vault if you put a gun to your head? What if it was the vault from Fallout, and that was the only way to stop the dog from getting annihilated by nuclear waste? Would you still not put the dog in the vault? You'd do that? Okay. I just wanted to make sure that you weren't, like, fucked up. Criminy, how did it escape from the Poltergeist 5000? I guess I'll have to tighten up the containment unit. But that can wait. Let's see that special key. God, it's all chewed up and slimy. 
I'll ask the Toad fella to clean it before I try to repair it. Yes, the timing of this will work out perfectly, because I finished my analysis of the spectrogenetic paracomposition of the Dark Moon pieces we have. Oh, uh, sorry, how do I put this? Luigi, I basically asked our Dark Moon pieces where their friends are hiding. And once I enter the data into the periscope, we'll know exactly where the next Dark Moon piece is. Luigi, it's time to open that creepy door and see what's behind it. Aren't you excited? No. Thanks to my recent analysis of the Dark Moon pieces, the periscope has become much more accurate. piece we're looking for is located in the treehouse at the very top of the big tree. We're on the, we were on the right track after all. And here's the special key. It wasn't tough to fix. Use the key to open that door, get to the treehouse, and find that dark moon piece. Oh, and Luigi, the periscope picked up some troubling signals from inside the treehouse powerful true signals. Be careful up there, Sonny. Alright, here we go. So I really like how the walkthrough that I'm using words this. This is from IGN. It says, prepare for one of the most annoying rooms in all of the game. What the fuck's gonna happen? So we have to climb the correct set of stairs, which turns the torches orange. Only way to know what staircase is the right one is by trial and error, or by glancing ahead when I begin my climb again. The correct stair torches will be extinguished. Nope. How much more annoying can this game be? <laughs> oh, wait. I'm a dipshit. It starts out extinguished. Oh. Oh, fuck. No! What the fuck? All the way down? <laughs> this game is demented. What the fuck, dude? Why? Don't even remember this part of the game. <laughs> this really is like the most Taking the piss video game that Nintendo has ever released. <laughs> like, this is fucking crazy, dude. What the fuck is their problem?
starting to think that every single one of these bosses is awful. You could be onto something. I had to go all the way to love. <laughs> What the fuck is their problem? Why are they like this? The fact that it doesn't even make you do a hard fight either, it's literally just fight one shitty ghost, so this is nothing but an inconvenience. This is just the game, like, pissing you off for fun. Again, they were taking the piss. This is- this- they- they really think life be a game. That wasn't even the boss. That was just the lead up to the boss. Oh my god, I have to be way more careful. I just thought about how if I die on this boss, I have to do the staircase again. Okay. Okay, so we just have to wait for the rope to show itself. remember this boss being stairs? Gee, I wonder why they decided to make the boss stairs. I think that, like, I don't know. I feel like some developer at, like, next level games had to have had an experience where he was, like, in, like, a really big building and, like, he just had to, like, I don't know, like, a fire alarm or something got pulled off. And, like, he had to go down, like, fucking 20 flights of stairs. And he was so miserable about it that he was like, I need to make a fucking evil staircase. Remember hearing the story behind this one on Did You Know Gaming? Is the actual story, like, not too far off from that? Because I wouldn't be fucking surprised. They had a lot of different ambitious ideas for this fight, and Nintendo kept making them change it until it ended up being stairs. What the hell? Why would they want the boss to be stairs? Do 
boss designed by a guy who went up onto escalators too many times. We did it, Luigi! Luigi, are you okay? Who would have thought? Another possessor ghost guarding the Dark Moon piece. He was one tough customer, but you really took care of business. Nice work, my boy. I'm sure the view from up there is nice, but we've still got work to do. I'm bringing you back. Hold on to your overalls. He's doing his dance! I love Luigi's little dances. Dude, can you imagine if I had to do that level without the walkthrough, and I was just going up these stairs like trial and error style, not knowing what the fuck was going on? Can you imagine how fucking mad I would have been? I actually might have just shut off the game at that point. Yeah, we need this walkthrough for the rest of the game. I am refusing to play this game without a walkthrough now. Because holy shit, dude. Welcome back, Luigi. Sorry if it smells like popcorn here in the bunker. Your battle with that possessor was so thrilling, I just had to have some. Now let's lock that possessor in the vault where he won't cause us any more trouble. My brain's been up percolating on the subject of those possessor ghosts. I don't think it's a coincidence that both of the possessors we've seen had dark moon pieces in them. Speaking of which, let's get our new dark moon piece all cleaned up, shall we? Feel like you went through the entirety of dark moon and got all metals, but everything around this is a blur? Mm-hmm. Now, let's see here. Yes, Luigi. More of that fog is cleared up. Another mansion, full of pesky ghosts, no doubt, is now within pixelator range. Let's check it out. God. That lasted past one in the morning. Jesus Christ. Well, I hope you all enjoyed Luigi's Mansion for the night. Um, that's gonna be it for tonight's stream. I wanna thank you all for coming. Hope you all have a good night and take care. Basketball tomorrow! Basketball! Yeah! Yeah! Ah! I'm so tired. And I agree, I, I kind of agree with what you said, Eeps. Uh, I'm tired as fuck. Good night, everybody.